Yo, what's cracking Action Jackson? Welcome back and welcome front. In today's video, we are going to combine Red Cog and Scrap Hook together. Yeah, if this is your first time, just want to say welcome and and we get it. And if this is not your first time, welcome back, my friends. We're gonna have a lot of fun today, uh, or I'd like to think so at least. And so um I'm gonna start taking this guy apart, okay? How are you guys doing? Did you have a good Thanksgiving? Lots of good food and family, friends, maybe football, sports, and um, I don't know. You know, one of the things about the holidays that I really enjoy is the fact that we get, it's kind of like a reason for us to get back together, you know, uh, people to kind of meet and commune with one another um, because, you know, we are communal herd animals and our basic instincts are actually to be among one another in large groups. I know there's a lot of weird things going on right now in the world that kind of separate us and uh, keep us fo okay, sorry, <laughs> keep us separated from our pack. But um, and I know there's little beefs in here and there, but still though, we're supposed to be happy in each other's um, company because uh, you know strength in numbers is is what is what helped us survive throughout all the hundreds of thousands of years, you know? And so I think it's a beautiful thing, actually. And uh, I have a particular soft spot in my heart when it comes to... Um, am I doing this right? I think I am. I have a soft spot. Soft, 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 I have an all spark. I have a soft spot. Soft spot in my heart. Soft spot in my heart. When it comes to um, the holidays, especially the winter holidays, um, I guess that's when most of the holidays are there. There's a nice, cozy, comfortable feeling that I get. And um, I love hearing Christmas music. I love hearing Christmas decorations. And, it not, and it's not necessarily about Christmas. Oh, by the way, the one, one of the interesting things that, that... Oh my gosh, why can't I not talk right now? One of the interesting things about this build is that we reverse the scrap hook legs. Like this should be on this side, technically. This should be the left, but we're using it for the right. And I think that's really, really nice. Um, yeah, not necessarily about Christmas itself, but it's about like the memories that I have, I guess. You know, I used to be a big uh, church person back in the day when I was a Christian. So there used to be a lot of like fun skits, events, get togethers. Um, dinners and things like that. And when I think about that, again, the community just being together, it's such a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling. Uh, same thing for Thanksgiving as well. And um, yeah, just a big, big fan of the holidays. And so I hope all of you have had um, an opportunity to spend time. I mean, really, however you want it. But um, yeah, I hope you spent the holidays well. Yeah, had a good time. Eh, 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 eh. Think I'm doing it right. I think I'm doing it right. Uh, this build actually came about because um I hadn't really done too many like cog combiners with the um uh, junkions, and then a uh, channel member by the name of DJD had mentioned doing a crash bar and cog combiner, and then from there I just started messing more with cog. And, uh, I mean, I had done one using axle grease. I take that back. Um, axle grease and uh, brunt. But, um, oh, actually, that doesn't include cog. Durr. <laughs> so what I did, I plugged basically the front of this, that little hole basically into, like, this little back pistola part. Um, and we're going to give him some goofy quadruple arms because I think that's kind of cool, man. And then you're wondering what's going to be on the other side. Well, we're going to hook him up. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So on this other side, it's pretty much just going to be this. But I'm wondering if there's a way for me to give him a nice elbow bend. But yeah, I love Christmas time. Halloween too, actually. But... Christmas and Thanksgiving time always just gives me the fuzzies, dude. All right, you know what? That doesn't look great. Um, can I use this? Yeah, that kind of works. That kind of works. All right, dude. All right. All right, I'm kind of digging. I don't know why I did that accent, but I'm kind of digging that. And then we give him a nice little Rhinox blade up in the front. Ah, that's kind of cool, man. That's kind of cool. 
and um, ah, you know what I was gonna I said I was about to say this kind of looks like the front of a hammer like a big thing and he's gonna be arm and hammer get it arm and arm and hammer baking soda no no <laughs> arm and hammer yeah baby um, where should we put this should we put these up here just give them these like Minerva missiles on the chest I mean, we could put this anywhere we could put this on the side but we'll just put this here right now for the time being and voila you know i wonder how this would have looked with the blue cog oh and also i just realized i don't have his uh pew pews i don't have any of his pew pews with me huh yeah i just realized that i guess i just wasn't thinking about it um whoops hope i kept them in the shot but this is what he should look like when you're done yeah and i and i am wondering what he would look like with blue considering orange and blue are complementary he may have looked nice, but this is not bad either. And I do like this part in the back, kind of makes him look nice and industrial. I love the fact that considering we're playing with Junkions, asymmetry is almost not necessarily expected, but it's it's accepted more than um, other places. But he looks good. He looks good. And I and I am wondering what he would have looked like had... Oh, man, hold up for a second. No, I don't think I have any of the other accessories here because it would have been cool if we added some bits over here to kind of fatten that up. Maybe give, given him a bunch of more accessories uh, uh, back here and done something with this even and perhaps turn this into like a long hook weapon or something. Huh. Maybe a remix is due in the future. But for now, yeah, this is our guy. Yeah. And um, yeah, I hope you have a good I hope you have had a good time watching this video. I certainly enjoy making these. Um, not only just not only expressing my um, artistic uh, nature, so to speak, through manifest. Oh my God, I can't even talk right now. Expressing myself through these builds, and I also like talking to you all as well. Even though typically the conversation is just one sided, uh, maybe I'll do a live stream in the future, perhaps, and that we can have um, back and forth discourse. But um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And know, again, if I, I've said this over and over, that all the money that we generate on the channel goes to help charity. And so, yeah, keep tuning in, keep watching, and um, I will talk to you all soon, okay? Bye, bye, bye.